Hello, Good Vibe Tribe. Welcome. I hope you're all having a great day. Today, we are going to be doing and talking Dollar Tree products, reviews on current items that I have recently came across at Dollar Tree, purchased, tried out. Now, I am here to give you my thoughts and feedback and reviews because there are a lot of products in Dollar Tree and even myself who shops there very regularly find sometimes I come across something and I think, is it going to be worth my dollar and some change? Should I get this product? I wish I would see a review on it or get somebody's, you know, feedback and just see what somebody else is thinking and kind of feeling about it. So got a lot to cover. <laughs> We're going to get started. And I just really hope that you guys are all doing great. So I want to start with these headbands. These were from Be Pure Dollar Tree put out around Mother's Day. Love this. It's super stretchy. It is so soft and plush. It is perfect for applying your makeup. It is also perfect for removing your makeup at night. It's just so comfortable. It is like high quality. I'm telling you, these things are expensive in other stores. So for me, the only thing that bugs me is this is not fixed it kind of slides in and out but it would be an easy fix if you just I, and I keep meaning to do it it's just lack of time <laughs> keep meaning to just take a little stitch and kind of go through to hold it in place I mean I guess it's maybe removable if somebody didn't like this big bow but I think it's cute so overall definitely worth your Dollar Tree price point I am going to give this a 10 out of 10 because I absolutely love it I feel like I'm throwing away my garter belt so these I picked up quite a while ago actually and they were the no acid pads by indeed laboratories now this is not a typically carried product at dollar tree but i do still see them there so that's why i'm sharing it and it's a gentle alternative to acids these are fantastic indeed laboratories is sold at shoppers drug mart here in canada and they are so pricey they're like a luxury brand and line so just wanted to show you guys what they look like they're just these little pads like this holy smokes do these work good and i try and always stay away from parabens and phthalates and all of that stuff so yeah i am so impressed with these uh, they take off every speck of makeup they're just fantastic so if you see them this is absolutely a steal at dollar tree this is definitely getting a 10 out of 10 for me because it is a steal to find that at Dollar Tree. Now, another product that is phenomenal and I've been loving is this DeLon Hyaluronic Acid. It's a daily booster anti-wrinkle face gel. This is 85% natural ingredients. That's pretty awesome. And what I've been using this for is for slugging. I explained explained the whole process on one of my recent videos and this stuff is fantastic it's more of a little bit of a i see like a cross between a gel and a low more of a gel style but when you put it on it at first leaves your skin feeling a little bit sticky and tacky give it time it dries down and the feeling goes away and oh my gosh this has just been doing my skin wonders absolutely i would give this a nine out of ten it is so so good the only thing that bugs me a little bit about it is that sticky feeling for a few minutes but i mean you gotta give and you gotta take loving by be pure is this hydrating primer serum this stuff is like luxury i'm telling you guys with infused rose oil i cannot believe how nice this product is so it's a little bit on the runnier side. I wish it was slightly thicker in texture, but what I have found this works best for, yes, it's a serum. You could apply it anytime, morning or night. Really has a nice, enjoyable scent. For it being rose infused, I don't smell a strong rose because I'm not a huge fan of rose. So I was really on the fence. What would I think about this? But I love it. It works so good for just creating that base and canvas for your makeup and the difference this makes for lasting power girl it is a fantastic eyeshadow primer as well so multi multi multi-purpose i am definitely giving this 
10 out of 10, you guys. This is such a good product. All right, next up, we are going to talk about these loose eyeshadows by LA Colors. Now, I do love LA Colors. They're a great line at Dollar Tree. But I'm telling you guys right off the bat, these missed the mark for me. I played around with them. I tried them out multiple different ways. I have I do find that if you're going to pick these up, they work best with a primer, some kind of a primer, definitely, to get the more intense. They're just not for me. I would not suggest using the brush that they come with because it is messy. It is not good quality at all look at all the bristles can you guys see that the bristles are falling off the brush it sheds it's awful it doesn't pick the product up nice it's messy it's if you do not use a some kind of a primer something like that it is chalky it is it's just not it's not good so and i found all three of them i got three colors all three of them were the same the white was the best pigmentation wise once you do use a serum you definitely get more pigment and intense color but it's just a messy product for me and it's not the kind of eyeshadow that i am used to using or like to use so yeah i have to i am definitely only giving these a four out of ten <laughs> they really really miss the mark for me another makeup product be pure's hydrating under eye concealer oh my gosh you guys if you see this grab it it came in fair and medium i believe at my store not sure if there was a darker color i have no idea but this stuff is bomb the coverage on this is insane i use it under my eyes <sighs> expensive one that i always buy doesn't even touch this coverage wise so I'm very happy to be able to replace my expensive one with this and it works so good and it has hyaluronic acid in it. It's just a beautiful formula. It works. It has such good lasting power. There's no cakiness or creasing or any kind of issues that way. And it feels so good. The hyaluronic acid, the moisturization in there. Oh, I'm telling you fantastic product absolutely love it the smallest little dab will do you this is probably gonna last me a couple of years one little tube so yes just grab one you will be happy definitely 10 out of 10. another product that i have fallen in love with from dollar tree is this nail file brush and this has i believe four steps to it yes four steps so step one is file Step two is remove the ridges. Step three is buff. And step four is polish and shine. This is amazing. So I had one of these that I got at Shoppers Drug Mart and it was expensive. It had all the different steps on it and it's worn out. So I was on the fence to buy a new one soon because I like it. I take care of my nails. I really really do try hard to you know upkeep the cuticles and hang nails and just keep everything looking good because i love to paint my nails i like to put press-ons every once in a while only with adhesive tabs i do not do nail glue and this is very important to upkeep your nails and everything looking good the files amazing the ridges i don't really use that one too often i don't really have that problem but Step three to buff and then the polish. If you just did this, it looks like you have done your nails with a nice, clear nail polish. This is amazing. I would highly suggest this is a must have. If you're a nail person, nail gal, and you love to do your nails, keep this in your drawer at all times. Use it. You will love it. 10 out of 10. Not long ago, I came across a whole bunch of one of one products at Dollar Tree. Now, one of one is a brand sold at places like Walmart. I researched and you guys told me, and they sell for anywhere from, I think it was 15 to $20 and Dollar Tree had them. So I don't know if it was an overstock if these were discontinued products. I don't know, but I found three different products at my store and I've been testing them out and I 
love them. So we'll start with this one, which was the 101 Face Balm. It was a cleansing duo. So this is a very interesting product. It has absolutely no scent whatsoever. The balm is, it almost feels like a pasty wax. You can touch it and nothing really comes off if you just touch it like this. So when you use it, you want to do it on a damp face. You need the face to be damp because it's the wetness is the only thing that disperses the product around. And then once you get this all on your face and your neck, you go in with this end. And this is a nice, can you see this? It's a silicone, beautiful silicone massage. It just kind of massages your face. It feels so good. And when you are done, rinse it off, clean your face. This leaves my face feeling so clean, so smooth. I cannot believe it. I just feel like, luckily I've always had very good and clear skin. I do take care of my skin, but I just feel like lately with all these amazing products that I have come across at Dollar Tree and just, I've been using in combination, it's been working wonders on my skin. So if you see these one one products, grab. Now the next thing was the one of one Melk It. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Forgot about that. Okay, Melk It, and it's a shimmer hydro fluid. Now apparently this one is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury, obviously a product similar to this, but it's a Charlotte Tilbury product. And so what this is, is it has this little uh, dropper here, I'll show you guys. And you just put it on, you can put it all over your face or mix it in with your makeup. I found for me personally, it doesn't matter if I put it on alone or if I put it on mixed into lotion, my daily lotion or makeup, it just really illuminates my face. So it's kind of like a highlight, like it's got a little bit of a highlighter in there. It's subtle, but I don't know, for me on my skin, it just will really make me kind of glow or shine. It looks oily more so than anything. I don't do highlighters, so I'm just not used to that look. I just don't find it. I find it too much shimmer for me. It is a good product. It's a beautiful product, but it's just not right for me. So that, because it's just not right for me, doesn't take away from it being a bad product. I am still going to give this one an eight out of 10 because it is a fantastic, fantastic dupe. Next up, we have this one of one go out, and this is an energizing treatment mist. So it's not a, it's not like a prep or makeup setting spray. It's just an energizing mist. It says it's to mist often as you wish, or highly spoil yourself by misting every single inch of your stunning skin. I like this. I really think that it is refreshing. However, this one, and you can see I've used quite a bit of it. We're down all the way down to here. So I've used a good amount here. The spray nozzle on this one isn't the greatest. It doesn't mist out nicely. It kind of streams out. So if you are like putting this on your body or your face or whatever, who wants to get smucked in the face with a nice big hard stream coming at you? We want a mist. So I got two of these and both of them are the same. So yeah, that's that was quality issue. Also, the scent on this one. It I don't totally enjoy this. It's it's weird to me. Like, do you guys see the stream go out? I mean, it kind of missed, but there's a stream that goes too. It's weird. I don't know what this. I don't know what the scent is. It's kind of something herbal in it. It's weird, but. It's a good, it's a very refreshing feeling, works good. So scent wise, quality wise, mm, I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10 as well. It's really a good product. Again, I just have some issues with it. So we're going to talk about this foot spa kit from Be Pure, you guys. This was so nice. Packaging was gorgeous. It was a three piece set. You got your foot scrub, you got your foot mask, and then you got a foot lotion gift worthy right there but I treated myself at home to test this out and this was just so so fun so your little pots I'll show you the size of them they were just little containers here 
and the foot scrub was so nice. It had just the right amount of exfoliation in there. It hit the skin and it melted and just felt really creamy and the oils came out and it was a nice experience. Then you went in with your foot mask and you let that sit for 10 to 15 minutes while you do whatever. And then you finished off with the nice foot lotion. So I really enjoyed this. After I used it, my feet felt amazing. So soft, so supple, and it got rid of a lot of dry skin, hard skin. If you have some calluses, it really softened. Only thing was, I wasn't 100% sold on the scent of this. I don't know. I can still smell it. I don't know what it was. There was enough application in here for me to do both my feet once and that was putting a generous amount on. I think I might have been able to get two, but for the sake of testing it out and being thorough, I did it all at once. And so, yeah, that one was absolutely phenomenal. Loved it so, so much. 10 out of 10 for that product. Next up, I do want to talk to you guys of once again about these Be Pure Vibrating Facial Massagers. So I did haul them. I did a review on them already. I've used them out quite a bit and even more so since the review. I like these, but I found with more use that I have come across a few issues. So we talked about in the review how to properly open them. Somebody did ask me once again, and opening them is pretty easy. There's the bottom here. I know it's very camouflaged, even the writing on it. That was one thing. If you didn't have great eyesight, I think you might not be able to see because it's just, and it is tough the very first time that you open it. Mine were so hard to get open. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to get them open. I was just pulling and twisting and it took forever, but I did eventually and yes. So more you open and close it, it gets easier. So it's just the bottom twist off like that. Then you put your batteries in and this was where a lot of people were having issues as well, saying they, it didn't work. You read the directions, you have to rub the connections and then rub the battery connection as well. So just a rub on each end before you put it in and that should do it. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. And I don't know why. It's silly, but kind of annoying as well. Now, between the two of them, with lots of use, I find that this one with the big jade stone vibrates a lot stronger than this one with the balls out of my two. So we have a strong one and then we have one that's kind of mediocre here. Also, the other thing is that I found with more use and over time, I have noticed that this is supposed to be a vibrating facial massager, but I feel more of the vibrations in the handle than I do in the actual head of this. So I think this is a solid product. I think that the idea is great. And for the price point, if you don't want to spend drugstore money and high-end luxury, I mean, because these are these are expensive elsewhere. Um, this is going to do the job for you. It's not bad. I just think that there was some quality issues that could be improved upon. And again, no, I guess we're getting what we paid for, right? So anyhow, those were just my overall thoughts on these. I'm going to give these ones 7 out of 10. They're not bad. Next up, I hauled these Laura Ashley set, a lip gloss duo. And then we had the satin lipstick and lip liner. So these are my spares. I got two of each. I have been trying these out. This product is so good. A lot of you commented and told me Laura Ashley is a very popular brand. They sell home collections. They do clothing. They do makeup and beauty. And a lot of you were saying that these are sold in places like Winners and Marshalls and TJ Maxx and all of those stores. So. Home sense, that's awesome, right? I know this again is in a line that's always sold at Dollar Tree, <clears throat> but if you see them, grab them. Don't hesitate, they are phenomenal. They are such good quality. Everything from the packaging to the performance, they are paraben free, phthalate free, just beautiful, beautiful colors. They are so hydrating on your lips and every single one of them has like super high shine. They're just gorgeous. They're very wearable colors, very universal. I feel like great for 
so many different skin tones. I mean, colors everyone can wear and they just look great. I find with all of them, they basically just take your lips and make them look better. They just enhance. They are so, so good. And if you want to see swatches and what they look like on, watch my haul a few, a little while back where I shared because I did all of that in the haul. But I'm giving all of these Laura Ashley products 10 out of 10. I am so impressed with this brand. We have a couple Ioni liquid lipsticks. Now I don't buy Ioni. I haven't ever really purchased them. And many of you were commenting and telling me, oh, it's a good line. I know so many people love Ioni. For whatever reason, I just never got into it at Dollar Tree. There were brands that I love a little bit better and just kind of gravitate towards. But these were two dark colors and thought we'd try them out. I have to say I'm not impressed because first things first, when I swatched these, I could not get the swatches off with makeup remover, with soap and water, with dish soap, with makeup wipes, even my makeup eraser. It left a stain on my hands for a couple days. So I thought to myself, do I really want to put this on my lips? I don't think so. What is in there that's making it stain that bad? And it's just a liquid lipstick. Also, when they dried down, even just on the swatches on my hands, they felt very dry and they kind of cracked and were just not flattering. Not something that I think would look great on my lips. Now, if you love Ioni, that is great. That's amazing. If it works for you, that's fantastic. They just didn't work for me. And then many of you commented and told me that their packaging has a warning on it that says like has some some warnings on there. So I don't know. I haven't personally looked or checked into it, but if the product says that I am just definitely not going near it. So this is going to get two, one out of 10. I, I, I just wasn't impressed. I didn't like it. So, and, and the last thing for today's review from Dollar Tree on products are all of these elf cookies and dream products that I found. Cookies and dreams. Uh, this is apparently a line that is sold the e.l.f. cookies and dreams at Walmart. And some of you were saying you also have found it in a few other stores as well. $15, $20 or six to $20, depending on what products you're buying. So great, great score at Dollar Tree. I found the single scoop face sponge. I got two of each, so I have been trying them out. Elf face sponges are amazing. If you can find these at Dollar Tree, grab them. Grab all of them. They're so good. So we also had a cookie crumble lip exfoliator. This is a really great lip exfoliator. It's kind of a cross between um, moisturizing your lips and then also like scrubbing them like a sugar scrub almost. You put it on, you don't see anything, it's clear, but it does exfoliate. And then the more it sits on your lips, the oils kind of come out and it just kind of melts and feels great on them. So love this. It is a really good product. And then we also had a lip gloss and this was in the color Brain Freeze. I was iffy about it because it's blue and I thought, oh my gosh, like, I don't know about that. Should I even get it? But I'm so glad I did because this goes on and it really just looks clear on your lips but it is very moisturizing beautiful formula i love the packaging the color on all of these is just great and it almost has a really subtle color shift with 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 the blue like depending on the lighting and how you move you can just ever so slightly see it i really like it and i'm so glad that i picked it up and then these were some no budge eyeshadows i found three colors and if you want to i'm telling you get some eye shadow that is no budge that is waterproof girl this is it this stuff does not budge i have gone swimming with this on it does not move it's it yeah you struggle to get this off i mean it will come off no problem but i'm just saying you do not have to worry about it. you can put this on and this stuff is not going anywhere and the colors are beautiful creamy pigmented these two have a shimmer running through them beautiful love these so all of these, this whole Cookies and Dreams line that I found at Dollar Tree, I am giving 10 out of 10. It is a solid line. I love e.l.f. They're cruelty-free. 
They have clean ingredients and they're sold at the drugstore for a lot more. I, Shoppers Drug Mart even sells Elf. So there you go. This was not cookies and cream. This was just another Elf product that I came across. So it was Ride or Die Lip Balm in Cheeky Cherry. Again, I got two of them. This stuff is so nice. It's a beautiful berry color, but it is a very weird formula. It comes out in a thick paste and it really almost needs to be rubbed around on your lips. And once it's on, it's gorgeous. I just don't like the whole application and formulation of it. So for this one, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. I mean, it's a decent, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It feels great on the lips. I'm just not crazy about the scent and I'm like, it's all right. I just don't absolutely love it. So that and the whole formulation, 8 out of 10, but I do love Elf. So if you see it, I would still suggest grabbing it. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. It just needs a little bit of work, you know, putting it on. I hope that my Dollar Tree review roundup was helpful for you guys today on these products. I will have more review products coming very soon. I just, I got to try things out and get through them and then do the reviews. So give me some time. We'll have more coming very soon. In the meantime, I'm going to have you covered with Dollar Tree. We always do hauls, walkthroughs, new finds, and I throw in lots of other fun Dollar Tree stuff as well. So if you're new, we'd love for you to subscribe, join the fun. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. Good vibes and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video real soon.